What's up guys, how are you guys doing today? So today guys, don't be afraid to be different, have some fun and be yourself guys. But today is currently Sunday and um, I, we had a bit of like um, like a driveway get together with neighbors yesterday to celebrate my friend's birthday which is today and so it kind of carried over to midnight last night but it was it was a very fun celebration we've been doing these little drive-by celebrations ever since the starting of um the virus so we we are like i guess the we are six feet apart um from each other and we've been doing this since um well we had our last party in march for uh, Pi Day, it was kind of like our St. Patrick's Day celebration, so that was like our last together party, and then we've been doing these driveway celebrations ever since, but honestly, it was a lot of fun, and then today, uh, I don't know what is going on, it's the 12th today, and um, yeah, but uh, if you guys haven't seen yesterday's video, it is a pretty long video. It's almost 30 minutes long. And uh, I know my videos have been like, I haven't been really posting many videos. And um, it, because the last video before yesterday's video was two weeks ago. And I do want to post more videos here and there. But not like every day that I used to do. Um, because I've gone into new stuff like music and just other stuff like that. Um, but I will record probably like a couple days at a time and then post it and like make it into a video um, instead of recording like weeks at a time. But um, that's what I'll try to do. So I'll try to get a video maybe every couple days-ish, every three to four days up and see something like that, see if, how that's going to go. But um... We are not going to Newfoundland this year because of everything that is going on, which is kind of sad because I love going to Newfoundland, and so we are not going this year. We would have gone in August, the beginning of August, but we're not going anywhere, um, which is kind of sad because I really wanted to see my aunts and uncles, and I really wanted to just go to Newfoundland because Newfoundland is an amazing place. But, um... Yeah, so I'm about to go downstairs, probably have some hot dogs, and then I'll catch you guys later. It is a couple days, I think. I don't know when I last recorded, but a lot, a lot of time has happened through since I last recorded and um let me think yesterday I went to the Apple store to get my computer for uh for college in the fall and so I got a MacBook Pro uh 13 inch and so here is my computer so it is like brand new I just got it yesterday and with that bundle I got uh, more airpods so I have two sets of airpods now um that being because I got my other ones uh before that but um yeah so I got the computer yesterday and it has been a lot of fun using it and it's just been it's just been amazing but another thing is on Spotify so on my Spotify if you click my um my Spotify profile um, there are now four songs that have hit over 10,000 streams that's not the point though um, so if I go down in my so my albums right now are Down in Flames The Last Kingdom and Dreams and Nightmares and then singles and EPs are Eye to Eye Reloaded, Rough World and Live and Learn which you can see was released in 2018 and you might be thinking why is there or how is there a project from 2018 if I didn't make my Spotify in 2020 and what happened to Celtic Heritage so 
I found an old USB from when I used to make videos back in 2017, uh, 2018. Um, it was like a, a where, I don't know where I put it, but now I don't know where I put it. But it, it was like, um, it was a green USB. I used to store all my files on there. And this was at the time that I was making music in 2017. And I had the idea of making another, like, well, like a different project thing. So, because the original one was gonna, it was gonna be five songs, which then I posted on SoundCloud, and it was all ears. So I, I made that one, and then I had an idea for another little project that I was gonna be making in 2018. But I never really made it until now where I found all the files and stuff and the idea that I built upon. And so I made the project Live and Learn. And so it was released in 2017 and it really shows like um, the pretty much the progression of what my music has come to today. And so it is kind of like um, a second installment to All Ears. If you haven't heard All Ears, it is on YouTube, it's on SoundCloud. Those are the only two places you can find it. And Live and Learn is a second installment to it. So the songs on Live and Learn um, are Ooh OK Part 2. Yes, Ooh OK Part 2. If you guys don't know this, Ooh OK was, pro was one of my first songs. Um, it was one of my first songs in 2017 after making some songs in 2016 here and there. There, It was more of like, a, the 2016 was like an experimental phase of songs, but 2017 was more of a, it was like more fun songs. And so Ooh OK was pretty much one of my first songs. And then, so I made Ooh OK Part 2. And then we have On Top, Stand By Me, The Future Part 2, because... The Future, the original one, is off the All Ears EP from 2017. And then the last song on here is Time Moves On. And then the cover is, so it's me um, from a newspaper, believe it or not. Uh, me and my friend made a newspaper, in a newspaper article. And the newspaper article is over here where we, I don't know, I think I've showed you this before. But we were building a snowman and a newspaper guy came by and he took our picture and asked if we, if we could be in the newspaper. So, um, it's, and then I put a piece of paper, live and learn, and then some Polaroids. And I pretty much got a little bit of inspiration off of X's 17 album cover because I really love that album cover. And I wanted to change it a bit. Um, so I still had the Polaroid idea, but then I got... Um, a piece of paper, like a line piece of paper wrote Live and Learn, and a newspaper article that I was featured in, so I thought that was kind of cool. And then you might be thinking to yourself, what happened to Celtic Heritage? So Celtic Heritage is still out there, it is being re-released to Spotify and everything, but um, it'll be, it'll be re-released from November 22nd of 2019, because that's when I originally released the project and I think that that date is more important than the one that I released it it was like April 16th or something like that and that date doesn't really mean anything but November 22nd 2019 really means something because that's when I originally created the project so I thought that I should update it and change it and then Rough World as well um, it'll be changed soon because I originally released it in February 28th of this year instead of like April 13th of this year. So they're, they're being changed right now. But now back to the, um, so I was working on a couple new things. So if you remember, if I go to my Google Drive, um, and I, I, there was uh, The Light of Christmas used to be a single. So it was gonna be a single released uh, the couple days, maybe even released on Christmas. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do, release it on Christmas. And so, it was just gonna be one song, and it was just gonna be called Delight of Christmas. But now, there are three songs with a Christmas theme on them, so it's like an, a little EP, just like how Rough World has three songs on it. 
And so I'm gonna preview them right now. They're all now untitled. There are no titles on them. Untitled 01, Untitled 02, Untitled 03. So I'll play Untitled 01, just a little bit of a snippet right now. <laughs> So they got like, that one is one of my favorites off of it. I know there are only three songs, but the, the next one off of it is my favorite. So let's play Untitled though 2. But yeah, so that one is my favorite. Um, I don't know why, but it's just got like a happy like vibe to it personally. I don't know. I think that's like the vibe that you want at Christmas time. Like a happy warm feeling because Christmas is supposed to be happy and warm. And you spend it with your family and friends and just people around you. And then the set, the last song is Untitled 03. And I have to, I have to name these songs. Um, so here we go. I'm going to play Untitled 03 for you guys right now. But uh, yeah, so that was the three songs off of Delight of Christmas little snippets for you guys. And so like I said, that'll be dropping December 25th, 2020. So be on the lookout for that. And uh, it'll be my last project of 2020. And so from Dreams and Nightmares, it'll go to Delight of Christmas. So there'll be nothing in between. Um, so, uh, yeah, just, uh, I know I've dropped a lot of music this year, especially because I have dropped, um, what I, I dropped Rough World, I dropped Eye to Eye, I dropped Down in Flames, I dropped The Last Kingdom, and Dreams and Nightmares, but, um, music has been just a big part of my year, so, um, yeah, but, I don't know what I'm about to do, but um, I'll probably catch you guys later in the video. We just got dinner. We had steak and potatoes for dinner, but it looks like it's gonna rain outside right now. The winds are kind of high and the clouds are getting darker. And it did say it was going to rain today, but Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 23 degrees Celsius. Tonight, expect a low of 18 degrees. Hope you had a nice Thursday. I guess she's not going to say anything about um, raining, but if I go to the weather app here, if I can find it, that is. Um... Here we go. Where am I? Go here. Um, so yeah, it says rain is supposed to start at 9.20. Um, it's currently now 6 something. And um, let's see what the chance is. Uh, so it's like light. It's like fairly light rain uh, to like tonight. But it was, it was supposed to rain from like the today like most of the day apparently but what the title of this video is who are my influences uh in rap or hip-hop my my most my most two influences in hip-hop are trippy red and juice world and i don't know if you can hear the sound between the two um in my music influences i think it's evident but those are my most two. I love them the most. Trippy Red is my favorite artist, um, like right now and has been for a while now. Juice World is in my top three. The second, my favorite artist is uh, XXX Tentacion. 
and he also had um, big influence on me and I will do another video because I have influences out of um, hip-hop and stuff like that but I'm influenced by a lot of other people like um, 90s hip-hop I'm influenced by like people like I've I've listened to NWA I've listened to Biggie, I've listened to Tupac, I've listened to Nas, i listened to Jay-Z, Eminem, just a, a bunch of, like, hip-hop, like Wu-Tang Clan, just a bunch of different, um, just hip-hop has influenced me a lot. And then I go into the early 2000s, where we have 50 Cent, um, we have Kanye, just a bunch of other rappers. Um, and now, the more new age rappers, I'd say the baby has an influence on me, Polo G has an influence on me, um, ASAP has an influence on me, Mac Miller had an influence on me, and just a bunch of different people have had an influence on me. And I, it, you could probably hear it throughout the music, and stuff like that through the different types of music I've been making because there are a couple tracks that have like the da baby vibe to feel to it, Drake vibe feel to it, um, Juice World vibe feel to it, Chippy Red vibe feel to it, uh, even Playboy Cardi type vibe feel to it. Just a bunch of different artists that have influenced me and I'd say the top two are Chippy Red and Juice World and I'd say the songs that from them have influenced me the most um, I'd say Life's a Trip, the whole album of Red has influenced me, uh, A Love Letter to You 4 has influenced me, um, actually most of his albums, and, um, a lot, Juice Road, his album, um, Goodbye and Good Riddance has influenced me a lot from starting, um, if you guys, I, I had a plan, because Juice World was gonna do three albums, that we're gonna have the same idea behind them. So he's gonna do a trifecta album, which the first one being uh, Goodbye and Good Riddance, the second one being Death Race for Love, and the final one being The Outsiders. But sadly, he wasn't able to put out The Outsiders um, before he died, um, which is kind of sad, but it that was his plan to make three albums. And in uh, goodbye and good riddance. He had an intro and skits and that was like One of the first times I saw or really noticed Like skits and intros and stuff so I added that into my music if you guys could tell because in down in flames there is an intro and an outro and if we go to the last kingdom there is a skit and if we go to dreams and nightmares there is an intro, and there's a skit, and if we go to eye to eye, there's a skit, and the Dreams and Nightmares is a three album, so there are going to be two other albums after that, telling the same story throughout the album, and it's complete when the final one is done, but yeah, they have been my biggest influences, uh, probably about making music and right now for sure are my biggest influences and probably will be and yeah so they've just been my biggest influences came up down from downstairs from watching a movie called Imperial Dreams and honestly it, it is a very very good movie I highly recommend it so if you are looking to watch movies on Netflix or looking for things to watch I highly recommend watching Imperial Dreams and uh, but yeah so I've been just watching a lot of movies during this whole quarantine and uh, just expanding, just watching movies and all of that stuff. But I'm about to edit this video on my new computer and I've edited a little bit of it already. And I'm also gonna listen to some new music that dropped tonight. Um, the Kid Leroy dropped a new single. 
Tyler Yahweh and the baby dropped a single together. Um, and Ty Fontaine and Little Key dropped a single together. Um, Kyle dropped an album and Joey Badass dropped an EP. So I'm gonna be listening to that tonight. And uh, which should be interesting. I'm really excited to be listening to that. But uh, yeah, so I'm probably gonna end off the video here, but I will record this weekend and tomorrow. So there'll be videos more here and there now that I have also my own computer so I can edit during the night pretty much. And uh, yeah, so I do believe that is gonna have to end off today's video. So basically like to thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you guys enjoyed. And if you like to watch another video guys, be subscribed to my YouTube channel, turn on my post notifications and smash that like button. Smash. To Savage Wellness, peace out. I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.